Okay, let's crochet a jellyfish. Look at this cutie. Perfect applique for any of your um, ocean or sea themed blankets or just really cute for anything. Um, I love jellyfish. So we have Bernat Super Value yarn in color rouge. So it's this fun pinkish red color. It is perfect for this little jellyfish. I'm gonna start by making my magic ring. I'm going to chain two. I'm gonna make 10 double crochets in the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten okay now you're gonna pull your magic ring tight and you are not gonna join you're gonna leave it as this half circle okay you're gonna chain two and turn and now you're gonna make two single crochets in each stitch around I mean sorry two double crochets in each stitch around so two double crochets in the first more yarn here. Okay, so two double crochets in each stitch around. Come on. So you will have a total of 20 double crochets along this little half circle. Okay, just two more double crochets to go. Okay. So here's what it should look like, this half circle of um, double crochets. So now we are going to um, single crochet um, along this bottom edge okay and then after we do that we're gonna single crochet around this edge so just the trick here on the bottom it's a rough edge which means there aren't specific stitches you're actually gonna be working into you're gonna want to make 10 single crochets so um, I'm gonna go ahead and chain one just to get this started and then Keep in mind you're just making 10 single crochets along the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not nine, and ten. Okay? Kind of make it as even as possible. If not, don't worry about it, that's okay. Do the best you can. In fact, if you have extra stitches, that's fine. This is where you're gonna make the legs. So um, just do the best you can. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of turn my work around and we're just gonna make single crochets along this edge and we're gonna start back to, we're gonna finish where we started right there. So let's just go ahead and start making your single crochets in each stitch, make a nice little edge here. Okay, back to where we started. All right, looks like this. Now let's add on these legs. So it's just a matter of um, chains and slip stitches for the legs. So we're gonna start by, um, you know what, I'm just gonna slip stitch over. So I'm working kind of at the bottom there. I was still a little bit on the edge, depending on where you end up, just make sure you're starting on the bottom. So I'm gonna chain 20. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Now you're just gonna slip stitch in that second chain from hook and all the way up this chain to make your first leg. Or are they called legs? What do jellyfish have? Tentacles? That's not right. <laughs> Someone comment. Someone comment on this and let me know. I forget what they're called. The little jellyfish legs. So I'm just slip stitching in all these chains. Okay. And now what we do is we uh, skip one of these uh, uh, chains here, or not chains, one of the single crochets along the bottom and just join to the next with a slip stitch and then chain again. So my, as you can see from this one, my first one was like a chain, I think 20, as is written in the pattern. The second leg is a chain 25, so it's just a little longer. Totally up to you. This is where you can get creative. Make them long, make them short, however you want them. I just did every other one. So 20, 25, 20, 25, 20. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna chain 25 for this. slip stitch along that chain. Look how you get to the end. Okay, keep going you guys, so skip one of those, join, chain 20.
last, last little jellyfish leg. stitch to join. We've got our little wings. Just gonna clip that off. Okay. Look at this cute jellyfish. Now, okay, just as in the other little creatures, um, you're gonna want to add a little face. So again, I am using um, Safety eyes I got off Amazon. I will have the links below. I'm using the smallest size safety eye. I think these are the six millimeter. I can get this on camera. I don't know if it's focusing, but um, small little safety eyes. Uh, you will be using, they come with a bunch of little backings. So you'll wanna use that to really secure it in the back. Uh, you can absolutely decide to not use this and use yarn and make a French knot instead. All right, so I'm just gonna do another eye right there. I'm just gonna set it in there for a second and then I wanna show you, so I have a small strand of black yarn. You can use embroidery thread. This was actually a four ply yarn and I separated it into, so it was just two ply, just a little thinner because these are small, well, small-ish appliques and just wanted kind of a smaller little cute mouth there. Um, and so just go ahead and stitch on that smile as best you can. Work into those stitches. looks pretty cute. You will weave in your ends. Okay, what do you think? We got two cute little jellyfishes here, so you will want to weave in the ends. Uh, maybe keep a long tail if you want to stitch this onto a blanket or whatnot. Um, and there you have your cute little crochet jellyfish. <laughs>